Hello everyone, Mr. Storkin here. Welcome back to um, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. We're going to take a Lanara Rodham look, and this time we're doing the lawnmower. Uh, it's a lawnmower. It has an shaped motor on it. Oh, Rodham appear to be going into the motor. Would you, would you allow him to enter the motor? Sure. So I hate lawnmowers. Um, lawnmower has been added to the ROM catalog. Ah, that he doesn't want to learn the move. But okay. You should know his lawnmower move. But our lot Rodham is now a lawnmower. Oh my gosh, I hate lawnmowers. I'll explain why. Lawnmowers are the loudest thing in the world, probably outside of my voice. And it makes it hard to record sometimes because I'm just because sometimes when I record, I just do it spontaneously. I'm just like, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go. And then the lawnmowers just go off randomly. I've had a neighbor once who mows lawn in the morning. It was one of the worst because I was just like, Ugh. It's kind of the best and the worst because then you're just kind of waking up. And you're just like, well, then I can just go. Oh, can we? So it was just replaced that one move. That's good. Okay, that's good to know. Anyway, um, it's really loud and really annoying. They, they don't really let me record or do my work, which is problematic. Also, they cause a lot of noise pollution. You're like, that's not real. It's like, how do I learn that in class? The first thing I learned and stayed with me on my sixth grade science class was that lawnmowers produce noise pollution. Hi, Shellos. That was the first thing I learned. I was like, cool. And I should know a lot about pollution. I just specified this because my mother at the time, well, she doesn't really know much about it because she's in human resources, but she works for a Department of Energy in my local state. So yeah, government. So yeah, good job, Ryan, you leveled up. So yeah, I, I really don't like lawnmowers and Plus, um, a friend of mine's mother actually lost her finger from a lawn. Or no, it was a boat motor. Wrong motor. But it gets more interesting. It's one of those things where it's just like the story that's wrong is infinitely better than the story that's right. Because so I think a story about like your finger being cut off by a lawnmower is so much more interesting than your hand being cut off by a, a boat propeller. Because I just think that's more common. <laughs> this evolves into an interesting conversation. Like, I will admit I over-exaggerate some stories because I think things sound better when they're over-exaggerated. Um, there's one story in my family that's really over-exaggerated, but I love it. Because it's so much better. Um, my mom um, drove her um, car directly into a, um, a lamppost. Not a lamppost, a street light. And it like destroyed the. Oh, it did a lot. It surprisingly did a lot of damage. But the joke is with our family because we like giving them grief about this because she's so worried. Panic is that in her reputation, you just say it was broad daylight because it makes the story so much better. Over exaggeration just works, but it was actually like raining and she had excuses. I'm just like, no, you don't get that. It was broad daylight. It was quiet in the car you could see perfectly out your window it makes it hard when the insurance people come by and there's like so what happened and i said well it was broad daylight she was drinking some alcohol she was she was like what happened it's like my vision was cloud it's like no it wasn't it was perfectly clear I'm like stop helping just like i'm just here to cause problems yeah um i think i'd be an insurance salesman's <laughs> worst nightmare in that um i'm not really helpful but at the same time, I'm not meant to be helpful. Also, I should have kept track of my time because then I'd be like, oh, we're doing 12 minutes of this. Um, I'm going to say we started a couple minutes ago. Mm -hmm. So, eight more minutes. Okay, I'm just playing things out. Because like, you need like make these things like either consistent or know what time you get there. So, yeah. Because I know that one move changes. So, that's that's actually really nice. In terms of the ROM forms, the lawnmower is definitely the weirdest, but probably my favorite. I'm surprised we didn't get a sky because you get air forms around. You have the phone rodum in um, in Sword and Shield. You have the Pokedex version in Sun and Moon, which talks in the anime. Threw me off. It was just like, what the hell? Um, and you have the Sky Drone, which I think is really cool. Because it shows the Pokemon's evolving. <laughs> um, 
at the same time, uh, I kind of like new Rodham forms because I think it'd be cool to see some new like technological versions of Rodham. What do you got, Joseph? Yeah, Sea King. Okay. Yeah, that's that's cool. Or Sea King. Or Sea King. Um. So yeah, Sea King. Oh, uh, we're usually sorry. Oh, we got a horn. Ooh, that actually did a lot of damage. Surprise. I'm plugging the surprise, but. Mm. You might be dead. <laughs> Let's play in mildly. We might be dead. Fire Pulse, I'm not actively concerned about that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not concerned. So, you know, what else happens in the world? Um, I'd like to apologize. <laughs> I already made this apology, but it's just like, I, I can't get enough of this. Oh, wow, that was a lot of experience. It really was. Good job, Ram. Ugh. I let the big winds play. True, true. Um, where was I with my train of thought? Oh, yeah, the crime, the uh, secret's Dumbledore trailer. My news posting, I admit I was, um, uncertain. It's just because I really didn't know what was happening in Ukraine, and I apologize. <laughs> I still don't know, and I know it's like ignorance. It's just like you shouldn't know this stuff. It's just like I get that's bad. Um, I don't know what's happening. So yeah, I'm I'm focused on too many things. It's just like, hmm. What now? Huh? Who? What? When? Where? How? Why? But no, um, Train Red is no longer playing Ukrainian theaters, which is odd. Wouldn't it be Russian theaters? You wouldn't want it. Plane. No, you want one in both because one's being attacked and the other one's doing the attacking. So, yeah, let's just bring the mood this down by talking about Ukraine. Something again, I admit I know nothing about. Boizel fainted. Is that Boizel? Nothing, Boizel. Hm. You know nothing, Snow. Apache Risu. It must perish in flames. No, well, um, I am really against the Pikachu clowns because I think they take down a lot of the Pokemon, um, development, or they're just like, we need to make a new Pikachu clown. They always seem to avoid that one. Um, again, I can name them, like, Gen 1 is obviously Pikachu, and Raichu, Gen 2 is Pikachu, which is just a baby Pikachu, Gen 3 is Fossil and Mine, Gen 4 is Pachirisu, I put that destroying right now. Then, um... Mulga, which is actually pretty good in competitive play that I've heard because it's a flying electric type. Um, Denene, who's actually fairly decent, I guess, because it's a fairy type. Fairy was really OP when it came out. Um, don't know the name of it. It's that hedgehog thing. And then um, more Pico and Sword and Shield. See, if I don't really know the region, well, I think Sun and Moon is the one reason I know like nothing about. It's pretty good. But the other ones are just like, I know Jack. I know stuff pretty well about them. It's just like Sun Moon is the one. I can't really name a lot of Pokemon from that. I can name Poplio, no problem. I can name the stars just fine. It's um some of the side bug ones are just like, cool, that's a it's a car battery. It's like what's it called? Charba Char Oh no, it's Charba. It's like, okay, then that one um Sparky Bug, Gigabolt. I know what I'm thinking of. So I'm not wrong in my own mind. Yeah, Sun Moon. I should... I have to wait to watch the anime on that, because I'm rewatching all the anime, because I like torturing myself. No, um, a friend of mine told me to watch Maid Sama. I feel really bad, because I just kind of got bored with Maid Sama. I don't know. Tell me in the comments below if, like, Maid Sama's worth listening or watching to. I mean, episode 3, I'm kind of bored. I heard from my friend that's pretty good. I don't like it. It's on her S tier. She made like a whole anime list. And I'm just like, cool. And I was bored. <laughs> also, I found some chicken in my teeth. Odd connection. Should I brought it up? <laughs> no. Electro Ball, yes. You were going to forget charge for Electro Ball. I'll compete, I'll compete, I'll compete, I'll keep. Confuse Ray, because it's still helpful. Yeah, Ron's getting a lot of love tonight. That did not sound right. It really didn't. 
Can you feel the love? I don't want to sing because someone will hear me. I'm just like, but it's, can you feel the love tonight from that? Um, Lion King. Electro Ball! I had another piece of chicken. Oh. I'm mean, gonna like drain my teeth with um, toothpaste. Damn. Um, it shows how much I brush my teeth. Um, I should brush my teeth more often. I should brush it tonight, actually. But it's just like it doesn't come naturally to my thought because I'm just like, well, I'm, I'm so busy. I don't really plan when I go to sleep. A lot of people plan when they go to sleep, and to their credit, I get that. I really do. But I have this horrible thing called insomnia. Which is a pain. Because if you have insomnia, you can't really sleep at home. My insomnia is worse, I think. It's odd, because my weakness is a blanket. I recently discovered this. I don't know why, um... Whenever I go into the blanket, I find that I fall asleep. I'm really debating about going to a sleep doctor, but the problem is doctors take money, and, um... Yeah, I, I don't want to go see Dr. House. Actually, I think Gregory House. In all seriousness, <laughs> I'd love to see, like, a version of House where they talk about the pandemic. And the House would be, be just like, I'm just tired of you all. Um, yeah, we're going to use Leaf Storm, not any of the Electric Type moves. I should be about re-watching House. I watched season three of House, but I'm tempted to just be like, I'm going to just go watch the whole thing of House. Because I can once is one of those other shows that I need to go back and watch because yeah we found a potion part of me wants I have this idea and I'm just like that sounds like a really good idea MH and I'm just like yeah it does the problem is I'd write so much stuff but it seems like cool this is coming here this is coming there I can just watch it probably in a weekend um, you know, um, I'm sure no one's talking about this, but Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., um, I think actually everyone's talking about is that, um, the Netflix shows are coming to Disney+, Plus, which I'm excited for, because that, it's how you get odd, because, um, two things, it's adding parental controls for the first time, and also Disney's adding ad support mode, which, um, is on my middle finger as I'm saying this, because I think that's stupid. I don't like ad support modes on any of my streaming services, I actually think it deteriorates streaming services by themselves. That's my biggest problem with Hulu. It's, it's ad supported, which I don't really like. It actually detracts me from using Hulu a lot because sometimes I just want to get sucked into the story. It's like, no, you have to watch ads. Ads are also effective. The problem also with ads is that anyone can run the ads on Hulu at like 1 a.m. in the morning. Yes, I've done this. There'll be a lot of condiments. It's odd. <laughs> and I mentioned this to call my friends. And family. I'm just like, it's very odd at Hulu at 1 a.m. And they're like, well, yeah, because the people who are going to be watching this stuff at 1 a.m. are people coming home from being drunk. I'm just like, yeah, I'm, I don't know, that one's usually like, well, this will be the last fight, and then I'm like, <laughs> as you can tell, my train of thought is well used here. <laughs> Got it. Mm. Well, anyway. Look at new for this video. I think um, next time is either going. I actually kind of want to do the microwave. I'm leaning towards the microwave, but we'll see you guys next time as we take a look at the next Rodham form. Till then, be sure to stay. I don't know. I don't really have a catchphrase to use here, but till then, bye bye.